Hey everybody, it's the monkey. Hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, this little video is basically going to be a tutorial on how to use BISC. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with it, it is a peer-to-peer -peer buying and selling system um, for Bitcoin, altcoins. Um, it, you, you can use it, you can, excuse me, buy coins with fiat, so you can uh, basically use money orders, cash, uh, you can buy altcoins with Bitcoin, you can sell Bitcoin, you can sell altcoins. Um, and what's unique about it is that it is not an exchange in the typical sense. Uh, in this case, you are dealing one-on-one -on -one with uh, buyers and sellers for the various coins. Um, it does utilize the Tor network, so it is uh, your, your anonymity is safe. Um, it is open source. Uh, right down to, um, you know, the development of it, it is decentralized. So the people developing it are from all over the world. Um, you are not storing really your coins on BISC, uh, so to speak. Basically, uh, if somebody's wanting to buy Bitcoin from you, um, you can sell it to them and they pay you directly with uh, fiat or whatever the case may be. So... Um, I do have it open here. Uh, we were just listed on it this morning, so there's really not a lot going on. I'll probably be one of the first people to put in any orders, but I did want to show you how it works. Um, as you can see, I have already funded my account with Bitcoin. Um, I knew we were going to be listed on this about a week ago, so I, I had already come in and kind of played around with it a little bit to, to make sure that on launch day, you know, I was familiar with the system, how it operated, and I would be able to help you guys out a little bit. So for those of you starting out brand new, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on account. Um, the only kind of coin that you can so to speak, store with BISC is Bitcoin. And from date, from the moment you install the, the platform, uh, they do create a wallet for you that you can use for funding and whatnot. Um, but let's just say for the sake of argument, you wanted to buy onions and you wanted to use cash, right? So you'd come in here, you go to account, you create a new, uh, excuse me, a national currency account right here. So let's select cash right you're going to fill in all this information right you're not sending anything yet until the order actually hits but you're going to put in all this information um and once you're done that you already know in your head you're after bitcoin so you're going to come in here go to altcoin accounts i've already done it right so you're going to create add a new account uh you'll select which altcoin that you're wanting to use right Bit uh, excuse me in this case it would be deep or er, deep onion right onions um, you will put in the address whether uh, where you're either going to be sending the onions from or where you'd like to receive the onions to um, and that's really about it you know at, at that point you're kind of ready to go now before you start funding this with say Bitcoin as I did you will want to go in and put a password on your uh, your wallet I've already done that and uh, at the same time you're going to want to copy down your wallet seed. That wallet seed is in the event that your system crashes or something like that, you'll be able to recover that uh, that Bitcoin wallet address with that seed. So I'm not going to go into that because it unfortunately will show you my seed and uh, as you can see I do have an available balance so I don't really want to share that with the world just yet. Um, but yeah, that's that's it in a nutshell. You know, um, it's a little bit different than a normal exchange, but it is very, very simple to do. So uh, I'm going to pause this video now. And uh, when I come back, I'm going to basically walk you guys through uh, setting up a trade of either buying or selling uh, onions. Right. So with that, I will pause this video. Okay, guys, let's uh, take a look at putting in a couple of orders here. Now, one thing I did forget to mention uh, before pausing the video is uh, backups. Do make sure that you create a backup before you really get into this. Um, it would be unfortunate if something happened and you required it, right? So do yourself a favor, create a backup um, and hope that you never need it, right? So let's take a look. We'll go to market, right? Uh, and we already have onion selected here. So as you can see, there really there is no offers right now either to buy or to sell. So 
Let's say you wanted to sell onions uh, and buy Bitcoin, you would go down here. Uh, in our case, we're going to look at uh, buying onions and selling some Bitcoin. So we're going to click on here. There's nothing here, right? So the first thing we're going to want to do is go up here and create an offer. And that's basically you offering to buy onions for Bitcoin, right? So now I've already filled this in, but uh, actually let's do this from scratch. I'll close this off. And we'll do create new offer. If you come in here, uh, let's say we want to buy, oh, I don't know, 0 0.001 of a Bitcoin worth of onions. Here it's going to ask you for the price, right? So we're going to go over here to coin market cap. We're going to copy this price. We're going to buy it right at this price. We'll paste it in here. And uh, basically what that says is for a total amount of 0 0.0010 Bitcoin um, at a at this price here, we will get 0.794 of an onion. Okay. We're going to go to next step. And this is an important thing, right? Um, basically what they're saying is, is that in order for both the buyer and the seller to be involved in a trade with each other they need to put up what you know a security deposit or collateral basically it's a bit of bitcoin that covers the trade uh just in case you do not well one of the people excuse me the seller does not send either the funds or does not send the onions um basically it's protection for both sides so it's it's because like i say right you're not putting it on an exchange okay you are sending it directly to the buyer or directly to the seller okay so this is this the security fund is put in place that if you know they don't send you the onions the arbitrator can step in they'll take a look at things um if they can't provide proof that they sent the onions basically that bitcoin which is held in escrow is going to be given to you okay so uh, i i understand and here's the actual breakdown right so the trade amount which is uh 0 0.0010 of a bitcoin the security deposit which is 300 percent of the trade amount so 0 0.0030 of a bitcoin you've got your trading fee in there which is 0 0.002 of a bitcoin and then you have a mining fee in there, which is 0 0.000910 of a Bitcoin. Okay, so uh, we click on close. Um, and now uh, you, you see down here, okay, that the funds that are required, so it's 0 0.005110 of a Bitcoin to complete this transaction with all the various fees. Uh, you have the choice of transferring it from your BISC wallet, right? Which I have up here. This is my BISC wallet. Um, or you can basically fund it from an outside wallet. Now, one thing I will mention is if you're concerned with anonymity, you may want to fund it with an external wallet. Um, I, I was reading that it does add a, an extra layer of anonymity to things, right? So in this case, uh, we're going to basically transfer the funds from our BISC wallet. Okay. So everything looks good. It was funded properly. Trade balance is there. We're going to review it. Everything looks good. And you see here, it's going to go to my Deep Onion testing wallet. It has an arbitrator in here already. And we're going to confirm and place our order. And that's it guys there's my order sitting right there and um, if we look in here I do see my order right there okay now one thing I will mention is um, if you have an open trade going your the, the, the platform does need to remain open 
in order for this to be visible. So if I was to close this, this would actually disappear right now. So you, you do need to keep that open. Um, and yeah, that's about it. That is basically how you go about buying onions using BISC. Now, what I'm going to do in the next part of this video is I'm going to show you the reverse and basically how to uh, sell onions um, for Bitcoin. OK, so I'm going to pause this and I will be right back. OK, guys, uh, here we are in part three of this BISC guide. Uh, in the last part, I did show you how to um, buy onions with Bitcoin in this video uh, or excuse me in this part of the video I'm going to show you how to sell onions for Bitcoin. I never recommend selling your onions but let's say you're doing some swing trading or something like that you're going to need to know how to do this right. So what you, you're going to basically do is you're going to come in you're going to basically be doing the opposite of what we just did. So I want to sell onion and buy Bitcoin. Click on this. We're going to create an offer. Now we see my the, the, the one I originally created sitting right here. Um, so let's go to create a new offer. We're going to do it for the same amount, uh, 0 0.001. Um, we are going to sell it for more than I was buying in the last one. So we'll put change that to a 6. And there we go, 0 0.79 of an onion. Uh, will be sold at this price here for a total of 0 0.0010 of a Bitcoin. I'm going to go next step. Sorry about that. If you heard that phone ringing in the background, uh, we already went through the base, uh, the various fees, so you do understand that. Uh, and here, here it is again, basically um, your various fees, your trade amount, um, your trading fees, your mining fees and whatnot. So we're going to close that. We already are aware of it. Uh, again, we're going to use our BISC wallet to um, do the security deposit. So, okay. And you see up here that it was sufficiently funded. It has removed it from my available balance. Uh, so we're going to review the offer. Everything here looks good. It's going to basically go to my Deep Onion testing account, which is my wallet address. This is the price I'm willing to uh, sell it for, uh, the amount of onion, and everything looks good. So again, we're going to confirm and place the order. And there we go. Go to portfolio take a look so now we've got two different orders in there one to sell onion one to buy onion um, and that's it you basically leave this open and um, once, once somebody is willing to uh, do the order you're going to get notified you're going to facilitate the order uh, they're going to send you um, either the bitcoin or the onion uh, you're going to in turn send them either the Bitcoin or the onion. Now, in, a, in your case, you might be using fiat or whatever the case may be. But however it, uh, you, you do it, basically, you're going to have to deal with that person one on one. Um, you'll get the, the details on where to send it. Um, and that is it. That is ultimately it. And I just want to stress it. If you're stuck, uh, there is always an arbitrator, uh, arbitrator that is going to be available that's looking at there. There's an arbitrator that is looking after both of these deals right now. So in the event that there is an issue or anything like that, you'll be able to contact them. They're going to step in. That is why you have that security, uh, that, secu that, that Bitcoin that is held in security funds, basically the reserved uh the reserved funds and and that's it guys it's pretty simple you know it took me a couple of times to get used to it but now that i've done it a few times it's kind of second nature you'll find that after using it a little bit it's basically going to be the same thing for you guys so i hope that helps you out i hope it answers uh some of your questions if you're ever stuck i'm by no means an expert on this i've just you know played around with it within a, for about a week or two um uh, there is a great forum on the bisc website uh i suggest posting questions there you can post questions in the comments below and i'll do my very best to answer them but again i'm by no means an expert but uh 
This was basically just to give you guys a general idea on how things work, what it is, and why you should be happy about it. So with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I will see you again in the future.